how about we bring the police Rise to? up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair! Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family! Yeah, oust the sea monster! Kipper, We're you... all behind you, Marty! <laughs> He's a good guy, you know. Look at the size of that crevice. How did Kipper get there so ready, fast? Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. We still have the rest of the day. Stupid Marty is breaking his part of the deal. Who could have seen this coming? That's a big eye. to darken Zamfir's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. So here's the guy everyone was scared of. And wow, he is like a legit sea monster. Wow. It was right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Then fear, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. Or sea monsters whining, but probably not. <laughs> Freddy stalked Marty on Facebook, Here so she knows we where are he lives. At Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find them fierce deed. <laughs> Freddy's just she stalked Marty on social media, so that's how she knows where he lives. Hey, bro. That dogfish is trained to guard the door. Okay, well, let's not go for the door. Let's go and let's take the back route. Ew! This rubber donkey is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it How anyway. How is it slimy? How is it sticky if we're underwater? It doesn't hmm, make sense. This looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. Dogfish don't care about that. He's just like, don't go in through the door. All right, let's just take the back route. Also, Marty, Marty like, was just the loud guy who's like riling up the mob. Then he just left and like, what? what is his plan here? It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. Freddy's going to do weightlifting. Meanwhile, Luther couldn't lift even a single traffic cone. It looks like a counterbalance. Hmm. Well, that one doesn't fit properly. Alright, well, let's check it back. I forgot about this, the final dungeon, basically. I'll keep this weight for now. <laughs> We can't, okay, we literally, like, it's, all right, we've got, like, a property dispute. How about we just send the police here and be like, hey, Marty, we just want to see if there is a deed. And he's like, oh, <laughs> no, um, duh. <laughs> Maybe it is his private property, I don't know. Here, have a here, duck. Dog fish. Get your rubber ducky. The rubber ducky was right in front of him, then we picked it up and gave it to him, and now he's all, we literally threw it right. It. Now we can get past him. If you say so. 
I don't want to say this game is bad, but like, the puzzles of this game are weird, and also it's like, the rubber ducky was literally right there, and the dogfish like didn't care. We pick it up and then get throw it right back there, and he's like, "Oh, I'm in love with it." It is cute that he's hugging it though. What the heck, Marty? What is with your house, buddy? Marty set a trap. Oh. I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby trapped. We need. Is Marty trying to kill here. these kids? <laughs> what the heck, Marty? A weight could be useful. <laughs> Also, I just realized that the villain of this game is the same name as my sister. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't wait for her to play it. Fun fact, folks, Marty has never played this game all the way through, because on our old computer, this game always used to crash. Like, our old computer did not like the fact that there was a series of, like, ten rooms that would just scroll from one to the next, so... Shh. Look. We can see into the other room. <laughs> no one will find Xanthia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> Thanks for announcing that to us. <laughs> <gasps> we need to get the safe combination out of that fake book. <laughs> then we can get Zamfir's back to him. Right he went from right. loud jerk to like super villain then we can real put an fast. End to this mystery once and for all. <laughs> I forgot. It. Wow, he literally just goes from like a loud guy to being like just pure like, evil laughs and all that. I'm like wow. <laughs> Look at that tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind oh, you, Freddy. Oh, that's like an optical illusion. I thought there was like a whole... What? Okay, that's... Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. Well, we have this cone-shaped weight. <laughs> fits nicely, but it doesn't weigh very much. Well, let's put them all in here. <laughs> wow. Perfect. Now uh, unfortunately, this is a bit of a step down from the last two Freddy Fish games, where Marty is always the villain in this game. Marty Sardini. I mean, not like there was a whole lot of other options, but... The, the real villain was the, the guy who, who stole the trading cards. <sighs> With the computer password on it. Grrr. Oof. Also, as a kid, I remember Marty's house being a tough dungeon. Opens from the inside. With some tricky puzzles, but I actually don't remember all of it. So, we're going in basically blind now, folks. Okay, I thought- I didn't realize that they fell down through the floor. I wasn't paying attention. I thought they swam through the door and then, like, went through a gutter. That's what I thought happened. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder Why don't how we just revolve it part of the way? The other side? No, that's too simple. You know Marty's a villain. He has a fo like a framed photo of himself on the wall. I think this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. It's a good thing Marty's not here on this side. <laughs> the chandelier changed to blue. Okay. Does that make we a difference? We need to open that safe. But first, we need to get the combination to unlock it. I can't believe Marty built, like, a dungeon in his house. In the span of... Okay, no, no, no. Hang on. Either Marty built a dungeon in his house in the span of, like, five minutes, or less than that, when, like, he gave us the slip before Freddy stalked him on Facebook and found his address, or he has a house that just happens to have a dungeon in it, in which case, yeah, he literally is, like, a supervillain. 
This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. You could tell that the candle could be picked up because it looked slightly different it's than very everything else. Life -like. I like kids' work better. These are just the can that can't hold a candle to you, Freddy. <laughs> Aww. Can we have a game just starring those fish? <laughs> The door's unlocked now! Yay! It's Marty's front door. Can we go down in the basement again? Oh, no, we can't, apparently. Oh, that's interesting. Are there different parts of Marty's house? Or is it literally just two rooms? He's He's gotta be somewhere. Marty's gotta be in, like, a different room somewhere. What if we put this on the circle part of the table? The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. The chandelier changed to yellow. I can see that. The sculptor captured Marty's oiliness perfectly. <laughs> Luther, <laughs> fish from northern waters are supposed to be oily. Don't <laughs> make fun. <laughs> but he's such a slime ball. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Okay, so we can move the candle to the different spots. Hmm. The chandelier changed to green. So there's a blue thing down here. Do we have to switch it to blue? I remember you need to change the light to a certain color when you need to put the candle in a certain place. And you also need the vase on it. Okay, let's try this. Maybe this is where we should put the vase. The vase makes sense it would be on the circle because that's the same shape as the bottom of the vase. This right here kind of resembles the candle holder and I thought the candle would go in the middle. And then this represents the light. Once we have the combination, we'll be able to But I might just be reading vase. too much into it. Is it? Hang on. Is it literally just this simple? Can we turn this around, then go out this way, and then oh, just go back for the house? Never mind. It's the fake book. We need to open up Marty's book with the combination we found. Whoops! That was me just being stupid, folks. This key must be important too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. The fake book is great. Okay. Yeah, I forgot we could literally just go around that way. Well, I'm still having problems with this even this late into the my life. <laughs> Let's try moving the vase here to see what happens. <laughs> Alright, and then we need... Green lights, it said, I believe. It's the combination yeah, green lights. To Marty's wall. 582. I don't know how he managed to set all this up, but all right. <laughs> Marty ever designed this in the span of like a day? Ooh, a secret compartment and or he was crazy paranoid and kind of a supervillain. You of decide. The combination by A2. Enter. Thank goodness Marty's somewhere else. I don't know where he is. Oh, thank goodness. There it is. 
Here's the deed. I remember Marty's house being bigger it than that. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamfir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamfir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! It I is a compound! in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! Does he have his own How security firm? In? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! <laughs> I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? We also trespassed in his house. Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. <laughs> this deed I'm holding proves that Zamphir Duncan <laughs> and he ascends to sweep up Coral Cove Park. Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's stop community you. service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. What was his like, motive for this? As he has no. You can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. <laughs> all I did was spruce it up. Yeah, but you kicked me out. That's true, because I'm a butt. <laughs> Alright, that's Freddy Fish 5. What? Leeds. Oh, Leeds. Producer Tanya Irwin. Co-producer Rachel Frost. Programming lead Katie Harris. Art lead Renee Leiby. Interactive game design, Brad Carlton. Oh, that's cool. Game programmers, Chris Bue, Jason Widrig, Dolores Carney, Lisa Wick, Ross McIntyre, Pete Crane. <laughs> Wait, Pete Crane? <laughs> from, like, from Pop Fun and Here's the Race, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool, they named him after one of the programmers. Oh, that's awesome. Animators. All right, Tom Witt, Jordan Rennick, Scott Brothers, Sandy Spangler. We're going to do half the credits now and half the credits when Marty and I play this. All right, that was fun. I mean, I'd still say that's one of the weaker Freddy Fish games. Maybe the weakest. <laughs> I keep going back to the fact that like it keeps doing the most outrageous feats just to get rid of your items as you go home. And I do feel like that game is basically just one giant trading sequence with very few puzzles. Although, the last dungeon is a genuine puzzle. I like that. And there was the odd, like, genuine puzzle. But I feel like most of it is just like, I'll give you the bottle if you give me a jug. It's like, well, to get the jug, you need the glue. It's like, well, to get the glue, you need this. Like... It's basically just one giant trading sequence, I felt. But it's still a fun game, and I definitely enjoyed playing this again. I can't wait to play this with Marty. This will be this will be great, because, again, she's never played the game very much. She only played a little bit, and she's never beaten it, so that'll be a treat. And I also have to figure out what path, what uh, differences between this path and the next one will be. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I know this Let's Play is a long time coming, but it's finally here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I hope you enjoy uh, path number two when I eventually play that with Marty. We'll try to get that done pretty soon. Hope you tune in then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.